back in the pool. And Grayson is actually doing really good in the pool today. He's splashing, he's playing with his toys. Can you splash? Splash, splash, good job. He's loving it. It is so hot today, like 91, I think. And yesterday I went and took Grayson for a haircut, as you didn't realize. Yes, his hair is shorter. It was way too long, it needed to be short. And I was Duck! What's a duck say? What's a duck say? Quack quack. Yeah, quack quack. I meant to film some of his haircut, but Anthony wasn't able to come with me. Yay! Yeah, are you having fun? Yeah, it feels good in the hot weather, huh? <laughs> Anthony wasn't able to come with me to the haircut, and then Grayson actually was terrified. Yeah, you're crazy! Yay! Yeah. Good job! He is so darn cute. Um, but Anthony wasn't able to come, and Grayson was actually really, really scared, and... I had to basically like hold his hand and be right next to him the whole time while the lady was like working around me to clip his hair. So I wasn't able to get any filming done because he was a wreck. I think it was because it was right before his nap time and he was just exhausted. So that was bad on my part, but we got it done and he looks really good now, but it is so hot. Like I said, yeah, we had a little tease with the weather and it was actually really nice, like low 80s. It was beautiful weather and now today, Today and this week, like half of this next week, it's supposed to be like 90s every day. So not good, but that's why we get the pool. And Gray goes swimming. Are you swimming? He's also been playing with his water table and the swing, of course. We're always swinging. <coughs> Duck! Quack, quack. He is so talkative. Grayson's been really, really fussy lately. Um, if you read the Wonder Weeks or know anything about that, um, you can Google it to know more if you don't. But basically I got an alert from the Wonder Weeks saying that he was going into a fussy phase because basically like his brain is developing more and he's learning a totally new like view of things and skills. And so it's just basically like overwhelming to him and that's why he's supposed to be fussy. And yeah, that was dead on. He's been fussy ever since I got that alert. But usually it hasn't lined up to when he's supposed to be fussy. But yeah, he's been fussy this past week. And I'm hoping it ends soon. But oh, it's been really difficult. And I don't know, he could possibly be teething too. And so maybe that's causing a bit of his fussiness. But it's been really difficult. And it just makes me like not enjoy my time as much with him. And when he goes to bed, I'm just like exhausted by the end of the day. So hopefully it his mood turns around and we're able to. <laughs> You're crazy. Yay. And we're able to ha be happy again. I'm so ready for fall and the cold weather. Football starts soon. I cannot wait. I love football. I just got Grayson a little um, University of Cincinnati hat and my sister Allison did a little photo shoot with him, so I'll put a couple pictures of that in here. He was super cute, but he's not used to wearing hats, so he kept taking it off, so I'm going to have to work with him on that. But, and then I also have a little UC jersey coming, so he can wear them on game days. Anthony has a jersey, I have a jersey, and we have a bunch of sweatshirts and shirts and everything. I mean, we obviously, like, we love that school. We went to it, and we're very excited because this year, the University of Cincinnati is versing Ohio State University, which is here in Columbus where we live. And so they're gonna play here in Columbus. And so Anthony and I are trying to, de to um, debate on whether we should go to the game. The tickets are like $90 a piece, which is kind of expensive. You're crazy! Or if we're just gonna go to like a watch party. Bless you! So we'll figure it out, but we're super excited for that game. Um, 
They played once before a couple years ago while we were still in college, and of course we lost to Ohio State. And then Ohio State went on to win the national championship, so that made us feel kind of good, but hopefully we win this year. I got this candle. I don't know if I've talked about it before, but I've got this candle. It's supposed to like ward off bugs when you light it because there's really bad mosquitoes over here. And Gray is obsessed with candles and fire and all that, so I gotta be careful and watch him, otherwise he'll fall off. Are you getting down? Down. He's gotten a lot better at saying down when he wants down instead of just up a up for everything. So that's nice. Bless you. Oh, there he goes with the water table. You play at that water table. Sorry, it's a little dark. We're in the shade because it's just so dang hot. <laughs> I came out earlier. He's got a little sea paw on it. And he looks so cute with it on. You can dance? He's actually keeping it on. So we'll see how long this lasts. Oh, look at him. He's just started to start dancing and it's so cute. He loves this toy now and he can actually put the blocks like through the stick. It's actually really fun to watch because he hasn't been able to do this before. You put it on. We finished outside. We had, yeah, you got it off. It was hot and Gray was just done. So I changed him back into his regular clothes. Hopefully he doesn't want to go out for the rest of the night. Let's hope. Anthony's making dinner right now. We're gonna have some spaghetti. So I'm super excited for that. And we're just playing up here, keeping Gray out of the way while Anthony makes dinner. And yeah, we're just hanging out, playing with his toys. Aww, you giving it kisses? That's so nice. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, you're gonna choke yourself. Don't do that. So tonight was spaghetti night, hence why Grayson is already had a bath, and it's 5.18. Hello, so usually I don't give him a bath till like 6.30, so. And we are playing in his crib, his favorite place to be, with his elephant that sings and plays peekaboo, and his favorite book, Little Blue Truck. What does the dump truck say? What's the truck say? He makes me read these two pages over and over again. He only cares about the dump truck. I, I'm surprised. I thought he'd be more into the animals. Horn went beep. Engine purred, friendliest sound you ever heard. I thought he'd be more to the animals, but it's just the dump truck. It's this page. He loves it. Uh. Honk, yell the dump truck coming through. I have big important things to do. I haven't got time to pass the day with every duck along the way. What's this? What's the truck say? Uh. Room with the dump. Mm. Yeah, room. I love how he shakes his head. Room went the dump around a curb. He saw a puddle and he tried to swerve. Oh no, he's stuck. Uh oh. Uh oh, he's stuck. Oh no. And then he just plays his elephant. This is what we do. I don't know why he likes playing in his crib. You think you'd want to avoid it? Where'd you go? I had to put, I don't know if I ever told you guys, I had to put this like. Yeah, dump truck. I had to put this barrier on the crib because you can see on here, he's beating through it and it's showing. And so I didn't get ones for the sides, although I, I probably should. Like, look how bad this looks. And I want to use this for all our kids. What the heck, Garrett Gray? Felix is all the way up on the top of the bookshelf, watching, observing. Hello, baby. Let's 
Oh, the blue truck. Oh, they're pushing. One, two, three. One last push and the trucks were free. Oh, you giving them kisses? Oh. Oh.